Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of Anima Yell. And last episode, Kana joined the team pretty much. She had her opinions on the team and her senpai being on it. Eventually, after a little bit of a sacrifice from Uki, she decided to fill in for her and loved it and decided to be a part of it forever. Pretty much what happened last episode. So let's see what, what we do as a full-on squad now that we finally have our complete squad established. So, three, two, one, play. Because it should be a full-on club now, pretty much, so. Oh, she's got the form. I guess she hasn't signed it yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe you didn't see me, you know, the girl with the pink hair, but I was there. <laughs> well, that's rude. She just wants to be nice and have you join the club, you know. Because we know that... <clears throat> Gohan is no stranger to that sort of action. You know, what she did with Inukai. <coughs> but I guess she hasn't officially joined just yet. But I'm pretty sure she said she was going to at the end of the last episode. I'm fairly certain on that. Hmm. I think this is the first time I ever wore this shirt on camera, so... I just want to say this is not a new shirt or anything, it's just... A shirt in the closet that, that I'm wearing because, you know, all my other shirts are not clean. It's not usually the type of shirt I would wear. But it fits me, you know, so... All for one. Isn't it great that we have the entire gang finally fully together? It feels like everything is just complete now. All for one. We are number one. I hope you enjoy your stay. Where's Huzume? Yeah, but then you might have run away. That's good to hear. <laughs> yes, she is so nice. Partially, you're like mostly responsible. There she is. Yep, we made sure to get her. And now her mood's going to improve a bit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. No. Oh my god, that's a difference of reaction. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, we gotta we gotta make it official. That way you can't escape. Preferably. Does she have a complex by her name like you did? Or what is it? Hanawa. <laughs> she, she didn't do that on purpose. Bish. I don't know. Well, Kana's what it's down the Miami list page, so. I don't know what does sound like a nice name. But, you know. Oh, come on. I I kind of want to call you that now. That means we're a club, yeah. Legit club, not an association. It's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was about to say it if you didn't. But if anything, Kohana would be red. <laughs> exactly, it's great. This is what we've finally been working up to. I think a club gets an actual budget. And an advisor and stuff. Yeah.
Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> wow, looking good there, Kohane. That's what will be my pick. <laughs> of course, Hana was all over that idea. Her tail's in the way. <laughs> yes, breaking through. She is good at that. I don't know. I mean, I can live with it, but stuff like Kizuna would be a better choice. A bit. <laughs> yeah. Is the club funds really pronounced like boohee? Because that sounds like a pig noise to me. <laughs> what is she, the little match girl now? <laughs> uh, I think it's fine. I think it's pretty accurate. Yes, we have. Lack of funds. Can we just agree to call her Hanawa, please? Because I like that name better. Especially because she doesn't like it. A ghost. I, somehow I don't think that's a good choice. Yes, Inukai. We know who the advisor would be. What? Uh, what did? What do you think she thought it was? Or are we just trying to call her an idiot? But yes, we knew who it would be. He knew Kai. She might not be a member, but she can be an advisor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now we're getting into bribery territory. Is that? Did I get you sold? No, but maybe we could work that. <clears throat> as, as long as you're willing to show up. <laughs> yes, and they've all become wonderful chairs. It's been great. I'd say you're fine. <laughs> Just have confidence issues. Okay, let's, let's dial this back a bit. Uh, yeah, we kind of lost our way here. Yes, I think you will. <laughs> yes, it is. I agree. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I am a dandelion. <laughs> uh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got evidence. Why do so many anime have like a borderline blackmailing method of getting their advisor for their club? That seems so common for some reason. <clears throat> Whatever happened to teachers that just like the club and want to support them, you know? Yep, congratulations, guys. This has been the basketball club again. Well, it's related to them in some way, of course. Everything's connected to the basketball club. That's how it works. A grade school soccer match. The victories. What is what's up, Uki? Do you know about them? <laughs> Still what? <laughs> I don't think so. For some reason. Uh for several reasons really. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Uh... Okay, that was weird, but I guess we'll get details later. <laughs> uh oh. I guess I make it a bit more awkward, though. Akane. I... Is that a guy's name? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that would be a thing. Uh, as if, like, Akane is not a guy's name. But whatever. I just, that doesn't surprise me. He is something, all right. <laughs> Don't get her going, Hanawa. <laughs> yeah, they've kind of seen him. At least on video, if nothing else. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. I don't think so. Don't remind me. That will be pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I feel some trauma in those eyes. Ichigo, what are you reading there? Did you decide to join the cheerleading club? <laughs> that sounds horrible. I mean, who would ever want cute girls to cheer for them as they do their thing? <laughs> but yeah, this might not go so well. I don't know, maybe he'll get over it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I just strongly disagree in so many ways. Uh. Maybe he has a complex because he has a girl's name. Oh. I... <laughs> okay, this is getting messy quickly. Uh... He apparently has a high opinion of his sister, which is cool, I guess. We'll see if that crumbles. <laughs> I think his opinion will change if he sees you actually cheering for him. I think that may do the job. That might help. <laughs> That should be funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose. I was expecting her to take it off and reveal it, but... <laughs> Please do. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna think you're weird at this rate. Uh... Poor confused kid. <laughs> nice save. Uh, just getting ridiculous. Hmm. Well, at this rate, he's gonna find out on the day of it, so... Some great stretching, though. Uh... <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're, uh, getting closer. Yes, she does, actually. Oh, that's not what she wanted to hear. <coughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Hmm. 
<laughs> oh no. Maybe you should give it a chance. <laughs> You'd say that like it's a bad thing. I mean, I kind of get where he's coming from a little bit, but I still disagree. <laughs> oh, you insulted the sacred art of cheer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they were special stuff underneath the, to not have that happen, so. <laughs> that, that is a line that can be isolated. She definitely said what was on her mind there, though. Uh. <laughs> uh. It's been a rough episode for Uki, hasn't it? <laughs> don't, don't do too much damage, but again, Kotetsu's uh, bluntness at work. Yes, we are. And here we go. There's a reveal. And of course he knows Kohana too. It's a blonde one, of course. Which one do you think is a sister? No, you're great. Don't let it get to you. Be, be confident. She tried to tell you to be fair. Oh. Well... I gotta give him a pom pom. <laughs> I know, right? It's not. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> I saw what you saw that said the first time. Don't just just embrace it. <laughs> Victory is, does seem like a very interesting name to have. <laughs> yes, let's cheer for <laughs> cheer for the. Team. Uh, let's go, victories! <laughs> Such a weird name. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, she is a very experienced cheerleader. <laughs> Uh, focus on the game, Hanawa. Let's go, victories! Let's aim for victory! Not a lot of actual, you know, dance choreography or anything here, but... Okay, here we go. We might get some here. Yes, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what we've all been waiting for. Yes, I would love for you to love each other more. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely where it gets exciting. Yeah, they need a lot of stamina for this. You think you're the, the sports team is the only one that needs stamina? <laughs> wow. Okay, the lyrics are interesting. You... Yeah, very captivating. Okay. Definitely getting into it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, and then Uki. There we go. Well, hers was more still, but still. I think you're starting to understand now. <laughs> it is a wonderful thing indeed. <laughs> Just look how much fun they're having. How can you look at that and not have a newfound respect for the sacred art of cheering?
Yeah, I'm a little bit tired now. <laughs> uh. Oh, they're fine, all right. And back to it. With, you know, sweat dripping off of at least he's in this face. There's a girl in there. Oof. Nice. Uh. <laughs> you saw your sister do her best, so it's your time to do your best. Not a lot of animation here, but... We gotta say that for the cheering anyway, so... There we go. Nice. <laughs> uh, and you know Kaiser too. You know, the good advisor that she is. <laughs> yes, I think victory won. Which is fitting. Uh Yes, they they bring it all right. <laughs> the rumors really are getting in a hand though. You're gonna apologize? Or and or thank her. <laughs> okay. Just a bit. He really is. There we go. I'm glad you can admit that. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> uh, just all over with the hugs today, aren't you, Kohana? <laughs> I mean, it seems like an improvement over Akane to me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, you can tell. Oh. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Uki is not going to appreciate that. <laughs> and that's how it ends off. Uh, that was certainly an interesting episode. Might be the most screen time a male character has ever had on this show, I'll be honest. But yeah, maybe Akane is a guy's name and a girl's name, I don't know. Just every time I've ever heard the name in anime, it's been a girl's name, so. That's the impression it gives me. Hopefully I didn't offend any guys out there named Akane. We can do it. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what was that? S okay, but why the socks? What, what does the socks have to do with anything? But anyway, that was the ninth episode of Anima Yell. It looks like my cat just kind of sleeping over there, as he does. So this episode, this was kind of an uki focus episode, which is nice because last episode she got injured and as a result couldn't really participate as much in the activities. So I think it's pretty fitting that she would have her own focus episode now, for instance. So yeah, basically, first of all, we have our five members now. We brought over just, you know, Hanawa over to the club so she could sign the paper and get it all official. She wasn't a big fan of that, but then when he's and I mentioned doing the same thing, she a complete different, a completely different attitude. But yeah, she signed it up, which is how I found out what her real name is. It's actually uh, Ush Ushiku Panawa, as opposed to Kana, which I guess Kana is what you prefer to be called. I guess that's a nickname, uh, I guess. But Hanawa, that's, I like that name. It's pretty cute, you know. But uh, what was really funny about that was Kotetsu, because she, 
when she well, when you know Hanawa was reluctant to say her name, she just the Kotetsu kind of jumped to conclusion. Thought maybe she had a kindred spirit there with with her. Uh, thought she'd have like a manly name as well, but uh, no, that was not the case. And then when she realized that was not the case, just that look on her face, like she had just been betrayed. <laughs> that was really funny. That was really good. I liked that a lot. Probably one of my favorite episodes, moments of the episode, really. But yeah, it is a cute name, Hana. You know, I think the tr had a transition or whatever that's, that pointed out that it was, you know, it means flower. It can also mean nose, technically, but I guess more likely, you know, flower in this context. <clears throat> so it is a nice, cute name. I like it, but she doesn't. She doesn't, at least. But she's still similar to, you know, Kotetsu in the sense she doesn't like the name, but not quite the way she had expected. So that was pretty funny. However, the real meat of the episode was with our next cheering assignment. We had grabbed Inukai over, and we got a new request. It was basically a cheer for a grade school soccer team, which, you know, that's fine. But uh, the problem was that the the, the, the team in question, uh, one of our members knows a member of that one, which would be Uki, who his little brother actually plays on that team, which complicates things a bit. But, you know, we found out why it was even more the case with a few more details, but... Still, it was kind of funny when they were trying to speculate what exactly the issue here was, and I don't remember who it was, but somebody suggested maybe that she was trying to, you know, there was somebody on the team she wanted to confess to or whatever, which is funny because, well, for one thing, Uki likes Kohane, so it, that it's unlikely for that reason. And two, that'd be a pretty big age gap between, you know, a high school age Uki and a grade schooler. Not impossible for anime, sure, but still unlikely. There's a lot of reasons why it'd be very unlikely to to be the case. But like I said, eventually we found out what it was. It was a sibling. And the sibling does not really like the cheering, the cheerleaders. Like, he, Uki went home and he was complaining about girls who dare to go to his game and just cheer for him. Like, how dare they do that? Don't you realize it's just annoying? Yeah, just a very different opinion that than, uh, than I might have and other cheerleader fans might have. <clears throat> Which made it difficult for Uki to say, hey, brother of mine who doesn't like when girls come to cheer at his games, I'm gonna go cheer at your game. Just so you know that. So it was a little bit a little bit hard to say. But I definitely appreciated her various failed attempts to say it. It was pretty funny. She even wore the uniform, but like under her school uniform, which completely defeated the purpose and try to do a little bit of cheering and then try to play it off as English practice or whatever. Just that, that was really funny. I like that a lot. Another really good part of the, of the episode, just slowly becoming more and more just dis, uh, disheartened. But yeah, she did her best. But eventually she told him what was up, but he did not a big fan of any of that. He just doesn't like the whole cheering thing. He said a lot of rude things about the sacred art of cheerleading, which kind of set her off a bit. And she yelled at him and regretted it you know later on because of course she does but she, we eventually got to the game she cheered for the team and they did a great job of it even in, in the second part of it they still continue to cheer no matter how tired they were they kept doing their best to cheer them on and that that really just started to get to him and he started to realize that he may have misjudged these cheerleaders you know and cheerleaders in general and had a newfound respect for them you know found out realized how cool they were how cute they were how amazing and appreciative appreci appreciated they are you know all that good stuff you know walking up to them and thanking them and stuff like that so definitely great to see that because you know he may have triggered me a bit with some of the things he said this episode so i'm glad we kind of had it resolved that way and then kohana just just, you know, starts hugging him and embarrassing him, which is also pretty funny. And Uki not liking any of that because she'd rather Kohana just, you know, hug her and stuff. But it doesn't, it doesn't always go that way, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty good. I mean, as far as cheer, the cheerleading segments go, that was probably not one of the better ones. But still, you know, it was mostly about the relationship between Uki and, and uh, Akane. So that was definitely worked through. So, so that's good. Any other little details I kind of want to, you know mention uh the brother stuff was a little bit funny like her older brother talking about how she cheered him wanted to cheer him on when he was doing kendo that's kind of how she got into it that was cool to know but he's a man Let's see and just uki being her fighting stance and in uh preparation for that was funny too Let's see uh yeah i think that really is most of what I wanted to say, we had some good Uki faces this episode, which is definitely something I like to see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think really just about it, but... Yeah, just... Yeah, I'd say a pretty solid episode for the most part. Probably not my... Definitely not my favorite, but definitely not a bad episode. By any means, we did get cheering after all, so that's... That's what matters. So, yeah, I... 
will now wait for the next episode to come up. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.